Welcome to the program. I'm Charles Aite. To our first story, LPG Gas Marketers Association says that the price of LPG will go up from Monday irrespective of the removal of the price stabilization and recovery levies for the next two months. The LPG consumers will be cushioned by only 14 pesos with the removal of the price stabilization levy. However, the price of LPG is expected to go up by about 40 pesos per kilo from next week. The Vice President of the LPG Marketers Association, Gabriel Kumi, joins us via Zoom with more on this story. We're so grateful, Gabriel, that you could join us. By some extrapolation, it means that LPG price is still expected to go up by about 26 pesos. Tell us your justification for that. Good afternoon to your viewers. Exactly so. I mean, uh, the from the projections, the LPG is likely to go up by about 40 pesos, between 40 and 50 pesos, uh, beginning Friday. That's the next window. So if you are going to reduce or suspend the price stabilization levy, which is about just about 14 pesos, 14 pesos if you take that out of uh, 40 pesos, you are still left with uh, 26 pesos that the LPG is, between 26 and 30 pesos that the LPG is going to go up with. Uh, we are concerned about uh, managing customers' expectation because we shouldn't create the impression that once the price stabilization levy is suspended for two months, uh, automatically price of petroleum products are going to go down. That is not so. It depends on how high the price goes uh, uh, for the window. And as I did indicate, this window, our projection is that price is going to go up between 40 to 50 pesos. I mean, if that happens, and even if governments succeed in uh, suspending the price stabilization levy from Friday, we still have to, to, to confront with an increment in the price of LPG. And why we is that? The station in such a way that customers will not come to our station and start beating us up. Because once we tell customers that you have reduced it, when they come to the pump, they are expecting a reduction in price. And I'm saying that the net effect of the increase that we are going to witness in the next window and the removal or the suspension of the price uh, stabilization levy, the net effect is that price is going to go up. Interesting. But of course, we're also concerned about its impact on households. Help us with some statistics in terms of the kind of people that are consuming LPG currently as compared to some four years ago, because people are currently moving away from LPG usage to charcoal. What exactly are the statistics regarding this? Exactly so. I mean, the RPG campaign, Marketing Companies Association of Ghana have been calling on government to consider removing the existing taxes on LPG. Because we believe LPG is, ordinary Ghanaian is being priced out of LPG. Now, if you look at the consumption of the domestic consumption of LPG, the, 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 the bracket that consumes LPG domestically are the middle income apples. The masses of our people, that is the middle income down, the mass that we need to support the government drive in achieving 50%, 100% increment in the consumption of LPG by 2020, can no longer afford to, to, to purchase the LPG. And well, that is seriously let's... going to impact negatively on government efforts to increase consumption. Great. The of <laughs> let's now talk solutions. How can this be reversed to ensure that as many as possible people can afford LPG moving forward? Well, there is, there is very little you can do about the world market price. What government can do, government has control over the taxes that it has imposed on the product. Now, the, the, every kilo of the, the, the price you pay for LPG, about 20% is taxes. And, and if you look at our West Africa sub-region, uh, some of the uh, countries in the sub-region are even subsidizing the product. In Ghana, we have moved from subsidy to full cost recovery, and we are now putting as much as 20% taxes on the product. We welcome the, the initiative by government. I think government should become congratulated for the initiative to, 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 to suspend the price stabilization levy. But we are looking at something more permanent. We are looking at looking at the existing 20, almost 20% 20 taxes on the LPG and scrapping them so we can make the product much more affordable so the ordinary Ghanaian can, can consume. I mean, there's a lot of wisdom in the president's vision of trying to increase the penetration of LPG from the current 25% to 50% to by the year 2030. There's a lot of, I mean, the president knows why he wants the country to move in that direction. But one thing that is fighting very, very vigorously against, against the president's vision 
is the price of LPG. And, and if nothing concrete and nothing solid is done to bring the prices of LPG down, it's impossible to achieve our president's vision by the year 2030. We're so grateful, uh, of course, Gabriel Kumi, the Vice President of the LPG Marketers Association, helping us understand the reasons behind the increase in LPG uh, this particular week, despite the shortfalls regarding the price uh, regulation by government. But we shall monitor this to give you updates.